you've left absolutely no boundaries for anything or anyone. As far as you're concerned, uh, you're limitless in your possibilities. And we should touch on um, uh, uh, something that you have had to endure and had to cope with and had to learn and, and relearn from very, very young. Uh, you were diagnosed with ADHD. Right. Now, uh, so many people say to us that this is a problem, this is a concern, this is a, 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 a way to narrow one's possibilities. For you, though, you're living proof that you've taken that challenge on, you've taken that condition on, and you've, you've bounded past all those limitations because you've created, what is it, unique measures or practices. Uh, some call them rather unorthodox ways to get ahead. Uh, can you speak to some of this? Because it's so exciting listening to one, you, and two, this journey that you've been on for the last, uh, what is it, uh, 15, 20 years? Yeah, and I have to say, George, the journey has barely begun. <laughs> uh, it's barely started. No, I really mean that. And I operate every day like it's my first day on the job, as if there's so much to learn. Um, that passion, know, that passion, by the way, Michael, is, is a measure and a very good indicator why you will be a fantastic and why you are a success, but why you'll even grow even more. Uh, I think that, no, that is... Never have you, no, <laughs> no, no, I, no, no. Can I just say, can I just say, without that passion, without that drive, nothing happens. Right, right. You really have to like it. And you oh. got to... Because, because that's how you make yourself unique when you really love what you do. Because you, you don't look at as, everything as being transactional. Because if you looked at what I did as transactional, it would be very clear to almost everyone that it's just not worth it. It's so much time. You know, when you, when, and I have to answer your initial question, but I will say this. When I first graduated college, uh, all of my friends were getting top paid jobs at, at big companies starting $90,000, $120,000, Amazon, Facebook, Google, you name it. I was working for myself doing practically slave labor, labor in the sense where I was extremely undervalued, making, oh, what did I make that year? I made like $20,000 and I worked four times harder than everyone around me. But that's because I had my eye on a bigger prize. I had a you know, longer term projection, projection, but the model that I was subscribing to was exponential. And those kind of models take a lot of time to get started. But once you reach that inflection point and then you start heading straight up, it makes it all worth it. And, you know, think of, you know, you can be, you can love to be a programmer, but that doesn't necessarily mean you want to spend your life calibrating a GPS at Google, right? You want to be able to do what you like doing, because when you do what you like doing, things become unique and you have a passion for it. And then it blossoms into something bigger than you ever imagined.